uh, compelling article the other day. I think it was animals. Um, it was basically talking about this trap that we fall into where uh, as, as certain performance metrics increase, reader trust can decrease, right? So mm. let's say hypothetically, um, you know, you're number one for X, Y, and Z term, but it was clearly written with SEO in mind first. Uh, the reader who's just stumbled across this, this might be their first time seeing your brand, knowing what you're all about. That is now their impression. Like they can't find uh, the content that they're looking for. I just ran into this. I was like looking up DIY articles because I have to like replace an electric outlet. And it was the worst experience. I knew immediately that this was being, yeah. that this was from yeah. like a bot or, um, yep. or something. Yep. And kind of to that same, same, um, you know, spirit, something like time on site, which I've always seen as, you know, maybe prior to this year is sort of one of those things that we really want to prioritize and get a better sense of even right. that you could consider maybe that being uh, a sign of uh, your, maybe your site's difficult to manage. Maybe you're not answering yeah. the questions quick enough. Um, yeah. So I just, I yeah. think wholesale, like in content marketing, we have to really take a look at the metrics um, and the benchmarks that we set and reevaluate what we're really going for. Um, because something like trust and brand awareness and authority, it's, uh, it's so amorphous. It's hard to yeah. put numbers to that. And I think maybe partly what we need to do is, you know, better support the case that those things still matter, even if we can't, mm -hmm. um, track yeah. them as easily on a dashboard in GA or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that and, and, and how metrics can almost become the enemy. Um, like I had this interesting experience two nights ago where I was trying to make a mixed drink and I just needed a very simple recipe. Like it's a very simple recipe. And so, you know, you do the search for the recipe and like 15 links come up and it's like, okay, probably one of the first three to four is probably pretty good. So I pick one and you have to scroll for, ever just to get to the recipe like there's all this just garbage in front of it mm -hmm. and then i scroll 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 finally find the recipe and it's like oh no that one doesn't use the right whatever now i got to go to the next one and then i do this and it's every single one of them is this forever scrolling just to get to the basic information that i want and that's so frustrating and it makes me not want to use those websites again and so it's eroding my trust as a potential user of their websites specifically because they're trying to optimize for time on site and, and SEO. And, and to your point, like it's terrible for those of us that are actual people and want to get information, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, th there's, there's probably a way to sort of, you know, serve both interests, right? Answer right. the question yeah, put, put above your text the fold. Below. Yeah. All day long. Yeah. 